Well, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called IP Man 4, The Finale. This is a 2019 film. It goes unrated. It runs an hour and 45 minutes and it stars Donnie Yen, Scott Adkins, and Danny Kwok Quen Chen. The description. The Kung Fu Master travels to the U.S. where his student has upset the local martial arts community by opening a Wing Chun school. This is IP Man 4, the finale. Well, thank you everybody for watching this video. If you've seen this video, um, I assume you've watched my first three uh, reviews for the first three movies. And uh, so you kind of know how this series has been going. The first one was really good. Um, kind of different, historical, probably a one-time movie if they didn't have, you know, the popularity to go forward. The second one was really kind of iffy and dubbed into English and tried too hard to be funny. The third one was outstanding because it had a huge amount of stuff happening uh, is also dubbed in English, and so it was pretty darn good. It just was way too long and had too much stuff in it, but it was still really great. And then we go back to our roots here in the fourth one with subtitles, trying to come to the U.S. with a different kind of concept to finish things out. And um, that's where we kind of go forward with this review, is that this fourth one is all about story, story, story. Um Something very sad happens in the third one. We have a recurrence of that concept in the fourth one to start the movie. And so we have to hear about that. We have to, you know, um, have story about that. We have to have story about visiting America. We have to set up everything to be in the U.S. and what happens once he gets there, uh, once IP Man goes there. I'll say the same thing that I've been saying in my other videos, that IP Man is known as Ip Man, just as Man, Master, Siku, Sivu, whatever that word is, and some people just, you know, just know him <laughs> and say something. So uh, I'm going to say IP Man just so we're all on the same page and we know who I'm talking about. So there you go, moving forward. Um, this movie starts with... Uh, Bruce Lee, he's very much been uh, influenced by IP Man. Uh, he was his master. Um, IP Man was Bruce Lee's master, and that's why these movies were kind of made because we all knew who Bruce Lee was. Um, that's what I'm assuming. And then this Marine that um, kind of is under Bruce Lee's watch, he has a fight. And neither of these fights are very entertaining. Uh, they're definitely not as cool as IP Man. Um, yes, Bruce wins his fight because he's outstanding, an amazing guy. Uh, but this Marine does not. And then we have some other people in the movie that fight and they don't win their fights. So definitely it comes down to the idea and summarizes the whole series that IP Man is the only person that can do anything to make a difference and has to come in and save the day, and uh, he does that, you know, constantly, but it just becomes an utter fact here in the fourth one, um, that he is the only one that can do anything, we know what's coming, we know it's inevitable, um, just like the Rocky movies, just like, you know, uh, Rush Hour a little bit, um, you know, just like other movies, we know what is coming, and um, that's fine for a finale. Um, all about the story and everything that needs to be told, I'm fine with it. Um, but what ends up happening with that is a couple bad things, and that's why I think this is probably the weakest movie in the whole series, and I know they had to make it, but obviously I don't think they really needed to. Um, Part of the story of this fourth one is IP Man's son growing up, and he is an utter and total prick in this movie. 
is no fun to watch. We know who IP Man is in the fourth movie after watching him in three movies. And for his own son to act the way he is acting towards him is just ridiculousness. And it's really hard to watch. Um, they do have another fight with a woman. Um, I've mentioned that in a couple of my other reviews for this series. That it's really uncomfortable to watch women fighting with men. And I wish they wouldn't have that so much in the series. But they really do have it. And um, it's just one of the things that's going to be one of their staples. And it's one of my staples of things that's hard to watch. Um... The first two movies are definitely the most brutal, and so I enjoyed the fighting a lot more in the first two movies. Uh, the second and the third one were dubbed, and I wish the fourth one would have done that, kept that trend going, but they didn't. Um, this movie uh, has to deal with um, battling against the concept of Americans and the U.S. Navy, uh, the Marines, and uh, it turns really, really racist. And so that's hard to watch, and it's just an utter thing that's there. It feels like the fight with the Marines is really stupid. Uh, it just feels like they couldn't come up with anything else to come up with. And um, just... I don't know, everything, when he, when IP Man visits America, obviously we have to go through this trend again that happens kind of in the second movie where nobody knows who he is. And, like, I thought we got past that with the third movie because he's a legend and he's done all these crazy things and these epic fights. Like, why would they not know who he is in Chinatown of USA? You know, I just don't get that. So I had to run through that uh, frustration. Um, with the racism, I really, I was trying to come up with a movie that really befit comparing to this movie, and I think, uh, Remember the Titans is really the best comparison I could come up with. Um, it has its own issues, but it tries to stay true to its identity of football, but it has all this other stuff included that it just has to tend to. That's really what IP Man 4 is all about. Um, it's trying to have these epic fights trying to keep you entertained with this thing and that thing happening. And it has to tell its story. It has to have all these things happening at the same time. So um, IP Man himself, the actor, the fighter, really cool story. I'm glad I watched all four of these movies. Um, the other thing I wanted to bring up to everybody's attention is this movie. Birth of the Dragon. If you haven't seen this movie, if you haven't seen IP Man, uh, all four of them, then you need to watch this and that. Um, obviously, Bulletproof Monk is pretty good. Um, there are other movies out there that are really good, but Birth of the Dragon is one that I own that I really have always cared for that I don't think too many people have seen. And now that I've seen all four IP Mans, um, all together I'd give the movie series a B. I don't think it's anything I want to purchase in the future, but I'm really glad that I saw. But he kind of developed into what we have you know, nowadays with Bruce Lee and other fighters. And there's some really cool movies that they've made nowadays. IP Man is the original, kind of old school, so I'm glad that we have that. I'm glad we were able to learn about that and his history. But I don't know if it's going to be anything that people really look back to and they're like, Oh, let's just, you know, that's why they waited almost five years to make the third one and almost five years to make the fourth one. Because I don't know if they were really planning on making these. You know, I think somebody out there said, hey, you know, you made one, might as well make two. The second one got made, you're like, oh, well, might as well make three and make as well four. And uh, money must have been there. The actor still must have wanted to make it. So, um... I'm glad that we got four IP mans. I'm glad I've seen them. I'm glad that I've seen movies like Birth of the Dragon. I'm glad I've, that we get to see movies that tend to Kung Fu and the history of it and the story of it. I hope we get more. I'll watch them probably. But uh, I really do want to influence people to, uh, even though this is a B-grade movie series, um, it's very good to watch. It's very informational. It's very emotional. 
uh, it's historical. It has some brutal fight scenes throughout the four movies. Really worth it. And um, I advise watching it. Uh, I'm going to give IP Man 4 a C plus as a grade for the one movie. Uh, but like I said, I really enjoyed watching this all in one day. Just straight through. Um, if you haven't seen any of these movies, try and seek them out. The first three are on Netflix. The fourth one should be coming out pretty soon, but I saw it in a different fashion. And uh, otherwise, thank you so much uh, for going through this IP Man kind of journey with me. I hope you enjoy watching the movies and uh, give a C plus for IP Man 4. Thanks a lot, guys. My name is Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and give some of them a watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy your movies. Thanks.